place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control their post things. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraph is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraph wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Patient X? That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. David's waiting at him. We shouldn't keep him. Are you coming? In a second. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of. Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me. I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading that turns into theory. I'll ask All David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. 
You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not all new Just material. another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. Soon till it's ready. I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. I still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did he destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah, never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See what the helipad had. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites every 10 feet. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington by my side. That doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection six. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir.
Pritchard, where's Megan? She report in yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microcam labs. I think she's running. Damn it. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Pritchard? Pritchard!
information yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. Go, 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 go!
Adam, it's David. You in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A break-in at our Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. My God. Mr. Jensen. I, I didn't think you'd... Oh. Wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you... need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't mean... I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that well, things have been switched around a lot ever since the... Well, since the... Ever since the first attack? Yes, sir. The lab floors were pretty much demolished. We're rebuilding them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so if you need help finding someone... I'll find my way. If you say so. It's... It's good to have you back, sir. Ted Bruger, please report to yes. conference room seven. Conference room seven. The guys almost died. Offers full and equal access to the enhancement products as you know. Second attack in six months. This can't be just a coincidence. We hardly know anything yet. What if it's a complete misunderstanding? Misunderstanding? Yeah, I can see the hostage takers now. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but everybody up again. Jensen, it's so good to have you back, even if the conditions for your return aren't all that auspicious. Seraph didn't really tell me much, Athena. Just something about a break-in at the factory. How serious is it? Plenty. Some of our people were inside when it happened, working overtime. On a Saturday evening? Things have been difficult since... since we lost so many good people. Everybody's had to do extra shifts to meet deadlines. Most clients were understanding, but not every contract can be delayed. Especially the military ones. So what am I looking at here? Well, David knows more than I do. Get to the helipad, he'll fill you in. myself to a sinking ship. Hello? Who is it? Working on some special... About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might seem. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. 
Biomedical data, too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Lucky for you, I'm gonna ignore that comment. We're done here. happening at the manufacturing plant? Some kind of break in the herd. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? Nah, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factoring. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard... Who's on point for these guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. Alright. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm not looking to start a firefight in there, just neutralize them. Okay, but just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So. Do you want something you can use from a distance, or up close? Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. 
We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Where are you? On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of spot. Yo, anyone there? Who's... Richard, I'm in. Nicely done, Jensen. May I ask how? A vent on the roof. It'll be in my report next time we discuss security loopholes. Oh, goody. 
I'll be sure to take notes. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it.